we're going on the assumption from a public health perspective that the entire county has this virus in its midst and we have to be really vigilant everywhere. With me now is Oakland County Executive Dave Coulter. Dave, it's good to see you. Always great to see you. Thanks for having me on. Uh, obviously, Oakland County is one of the, um, the counties that has been hit hard by COVID-19. Give us a sense from your perspective of how things are going. You know, the numbers don't look good. Um, we've been hit hard, one of the hardest hit counties in the country, really. We're close to 4,000 positives, over 200 deaths so far. Uh, and those aren't just statistics to me. Those are individuals and people and families who have been affected. So it's been really challenging from that perspective. Uh, on the other hand, it's been really heartening to see how our public health office, our law enforcement people, our, our staff, and our county and the people here have really responded and pitched in and have done a pretty amazing job. And, and we'll see in a couple of weeks how well our stay at home and social distancing policies have worked, but they feel like they're working really well. It feels like everybody's taking this very seriously as they should. And so, you know, we're making do. You know, in, in terms of making sure that messaging continues to get out and you see areas, you now have a mapping system in Oakland County. You can go on and see where the most cases are, or where, where they have been. Um, is there any kind of different specific messaging that you give to certain areas of the county? You know, we do, you know, thanks for mentioning that because we've had a dashboard on our website for a number of weeks. We recently added the, the map that can break it down by zip codes, which is helpful. But you know, the reality is we, we just assume and we know that the virus is in every community in Oakland County. And so even in communities where we're testing or we're showing higher positives, we don't know exactly why that is. It could just be that more people got tested there or they had better access to healthcare. So we're going on the assumption from a public health perspective that the entire county has this virus in its midst and we have to be really vigilant everywhere. Let's talk a little bit about the field hospital that's going to be uh, that's going to be going up at the suburban show place in Novi. Um, how is that going to be staffed, and what's the, what's the timeline there? Yeah, super excited about that. If for me personally, if there's been one bright spot in the last week, it's been the fact that we've been able to bring everybody together around opening a field hospital at suburban show place. This is going to reduce capacity on our hospital systems, which we know are just gonna magnify in the next couple of weeks. Uh, the timing is they need a couple of weeks to put these up. So right now it looks like April 20th will be when the construction is done. The construction is happening now and I have to give a shout out to uh, a lot of the labor unions, the building trades who have all volunteered their time to go in and help make this happen so quickly. But yeah, the big issue was going to be, all right, you know, the, the FEMA and the state can build a field hospital, but who runs it? And so we needed, we needed a health system partner. And I'm really excited that just recently Ascension Michigan has stepped up to take the lead. They can't do it by themselves, but they'll take the lead in helping manage the staffing. One of the big issues is all our health systems are slammed and they don't have spare staff. So we're gonna to have to figure out working with the state, working with FEMA, working with private partners, how we get this staff, but Ascension Michigan is gonna take the lead on that. By the way, so April 20th is when construction's done. I'm told it can be up to about another five days before we're ready to actually see patients. So we're looking at somewhere the last week of April or so, April 25th, before we can start putting patients in that, in that uh, field hospital. Let's talk a little bit about business, Dave. Um, and what are some of the small business owners talking to you about um, their concerns about getting back up and running um, and their concerns uh, with, with unemployment right now across the county? Uh, it's a huge concern. We, we started a $3 million emergency fund for our small businesses, especially if you think of restaurants and things like that. Uh, not only did their revenue just immediately cease, but all of their employees' revenues and uh, it's, it's devastating for small businesses, uh, but medium and large businesses as well. So we have an emergency fund that we established, but we're also working really closely with the unemployment uh, folks in Lansing. We have six Michigan Works offices throughout Oakland County. And I, I keep telling folks here that are trying to apply for those benefits. It takes longer than usual. They're getting slammed, but keep trying because those benefits are coming. And in fact, thanks to the stimulus from Washington, additional funds are coming. Hopefully this will be a short-term thing. So there's gonna be this huge, almost economic pandemic that's gonna follow the health one, but 
for now, the best thing we can do is focus on the health because the better we get this right uh, and the more we bring the curve down, the less economic uh, impact we're gonna have. We know it's gonna be a devastating economic impact though on, on individuals and companies around the country and, and all over the country. Um, talk to me a little bit about compliance um, and the businesses that are essential that are staying open right now and trying to do the best they can in complying with um, the emergency orders from the state. What is the county doing um, to help them or have you had to go out and do some um, ticketing or, you know, kind of saying reminders of you've got to make sure that you're complying? The good news is most businesses are doing everything they can to do the right thing and that's what we've found. But in Oakland County, we actually did take a step further than the state even uh, when the when the stay at home and the non-essential business order was was released. And that is if you're an essential business, you also need to make uh, keep certain health protocols to, to keep your health worker. I mean, to keep your employees safe and your customers safe. So, for instance, we make them screen their employees every day before they come to work. Uh, you know, it's a simple screening to make sure they don't show symptoms. We make them practice social distancing. There's been some confusion over that because the entire state doesn't make you do that. Although I am pleased to see that Washtenaw County, Kent County, and some others have followed our lead there. But so what we just did this week, because that can be a little confusing, is we put together a, a health toolkit for our essential businesses. And we're getting this to out, out to all of our essential businesses so they know what's expected. And the other thing I would tell you, Christy, is this isn't just for today's essential businesses, but as we begin to reopen the economy and reopen quote unquote non-essential businesses, it's not gonna be business as usual. So some of these protocols are still gonna be have to be followed even as we begin to open up our economy a month from now or so. Yeah, and as we kind of look down the road, um, who are you talking to to kind of start to formulate the first steps of a plan of 30 days from now, 60 days from now? Again, we don't have that time frame of how you do start to reopen things, and, and what are you taking into consideration? You know, uh, we're working really hard behind the scenes on what it looks like to reopen an economy. Oakland County is, in many ways, the economic engine of Michigan. It's important that we do this right. And even though our public facing is all about the health aspects right now, I, you know, behind the scenes, we're working very hard on this. And I expect that in the next few days, or at least the next week, that we're going to be announcing a task force in, in uh, Oakland County around how do we restart our economy. And I'm going to ask the smartest business leaders, nonprofit leaders, economists, and others to help us come up with a plan that makes sense so that when we do reopen these businesses, we're offering the type of help that's needed to the types of businesses and employees that most need the help. And so we're working on that now and we'll probably be rolling more out about that shortly. I guess in closing, Dave, what would your message be to Oakland County residents right now as uh, we kind of watch this wave and, and we really don't know what day it brings the next day. So uh, what would your message be to people? You know, don't get discouraged. Um, the social distancing and stay at home orders are starting to have an effect, but these next two weeks are going to be hard and they could be discouraging. Uh, I saw some numbers out of the University of Michigan and they do their modeling on what the projections could be. We're at about 4,000 positive cases today. Uh, it's possible that by April 27th, Oakland County starts to maybe hit its peak at around 27,000 positives. That's a lot more people than we have today. But we can prevent every single one of those if we all get really strict about staying at home and practicing the social distance. You know, this week is. Passover, Easter, then Ramadan starts. These are naturally times where we wanna to come together, be together with people in our family and people in our faith. We just can't do that right now. But if we, if we sacrifice now, it will be better in the long run. And I just encourage people to take heart. We can beat this thing, but we have to do it with the, the social distancing that we all know so well. All right, Dave, it's good to see you. Thanks for the time. Dave Coulter, Oakland County Executive. We'll be checking in with you as this continues to go on. Keep up the good work and be well. Thank you so much. You too. You can find more at OneDetroitPBS.org or subscribe to our social media channels and sign up for our One Detroit newsletter.